it's the IO OG immediately snap it up. Yeah, they haven't lost, yeah. Pai, you were a victim of uh, some Ana oh, IO. Right. What was that experience like? <sighs> no, it's it's one of those, like, we th the game, was, we we're feeling pretty good. And then suddenly, like, uh, when that hero hits his timing, like, 50, right, it's like, if I want to be there, I click the spell, and I'm there. If I don't want to be there, I'm just going to continue to farm. That's it's like having it. it's like having an alchemist combined with a specter in one hero. A, a, little, a little bit, like he doesn't farm that fast. But... Casters. Thank you, Purge. Game four. OG up at the moment in this best of five. Two to one against Liquid. Their last two games, some of the most dominant performances we've seen from them from the entire tournament. Yep. In this game four, Liquid, they have had the chance to switch it up. We're not seeing the TA. We are going to be going back to the Wee Heart. We is there. And once the level twos come out for the three members of Liquid. We'll see that pressure amped up even more. Jax is going to come down, help turn this duo into a try lane from OG as Kuro pops the fire fire, won't save him. Miss call from No-Tail, gets the kill. Now Anna's going to be the focus. Miracle and GH trying to get on top of him, but a quick body block from No-Tail and a shield handed over to Anna will mean that Liquid cannot chase any further. Should be relatively even. No, definitely no, seeing no. though this pressure down bottom is continuing to make sure it's very hard for Anna to farm with the rolling onto No-Tail, Liquid. Everyone's sitting at like 10 stick charges every time they try to make an aggressive move. Now Miracle is up a bit, a bit far here. Jerax. He's going to be able to make sure that Miracle cannot make the, the smooth run up towards the top. Another shield's out for No-Tail. He may be low, but he's more than safe. Jerax with the toss-up. GH pops the stick charges. He's trying to escape. No-Tail keeping on top of him. That Aphonic shield's going to pop soon. It may not even need to as GH is running. One more right click or a miscoil out. That'll do it. The shield pops. They get the kill. And it does fall though. Liquid getting the trade. Nice. And he actually did not pop his magic one there. A bit too much damage coming in. The mid lane seems to be the focus for Liquid. They've left Miracle alone. They're trying to collapse in onto Thompson. Thompson, he gets the cooldown off of the hell there. Smashes him with the clap. Liquid making these moves around Kuro and his army. Out of this top half of the map. So far, no one else has been interested in coming over and getting involved. Now, though, that will change. GH and Kuroki, they're looking towards Sep. They're going to bring in Weeha as well. Weeha. The focus fire, have they got the control? There's the rolling with the stun, shackle shot follow up for We Are, along with the power shot, will do it. Liquid making the maneuvers to put Sebs. Try to get some tower damage. Every single time a tower is going to start getting pressure, though, you'll see this rotation by Seb. He wants to make sure they don't actually get any of these towers too early. He doesn't have many reactive stacks built up just yet, but he will be okay. Cup in lane, Thompson. You see a dive here from We Are. We Are tried to close in for the kill. But he didn't have the damage to bring Thompson down. Thompson was able to just drop the combos. We are, he got in close range for that attempt. Oh, and you gotta be careful as well. Ana, he's jungling in the area. So he can just easily tether, pop. I don't know if you guys, you did the overcharge there, I didn't catch at the end of it, but he can easily tether it and even get a little bit of extra HP regen that comes into play. Looking for Jerax. Jerax again. Mending with the magnetized TPs will now start to come into play. Thompson's here, Jarek's still alive. They're trying their best to hunt him down through the trees. He'll be able to toss back the Hellbase Smasher. Rock is dropped to keep the Magnetize going. They'll get the kill on Jarex. So if they can find anything in return, OG Thompson. He's on top of Kuroki. GH, we are joining the gang. They're surrounding Thompson with a Divine Favor. Bring it, we are in Liquid. They're going to be able to get both of them. Kuroki making these moves across the map, bringing in the team. And they're really trying to set the tempo. They're trying to be aggressive, get early towers down with this Chen, with this Bristleback, and try to get an early Roche and get that big advantage to take advantage of Carry Io. Have to try to take advantage of it somehow. They're waiting there on the high ground. They immediately burst through the Aphotic Shield. No tail. He's trying to run. The smash is after him. No tail's got the backup of Anna. Mind Control's gonna head in. Liquid, they're diving on board. GH will be kept safe. By the Heavenly Grace, Kuro may have done a little too far this time. We'll be surrounded. The four of them take down Kuro, put an end to his reign across the map. As OG responding in their numbers. You, especially when you have a Gyro. Gyro is all about that early fight. Same thing with Tiny. And even Timbersaw, but Seb right now, we know he doesn't really want to show up except for the tower defenses. And he's also going to be matching that Chen, who's going to be an early mech. It's actually going to be a mech timber sauce since they have Io. So this amount of sustain that could come out from OG pretty soon is going to be pretty hard for a Liquid to deal with this. Seb, he actually jumps forward from GH. He goes deep. We are going to turn with the focus fire. Seb, of course, has got the max reactive armor. Thanks to that, Shackle won't lag. Seb, continue to back off. Chains out, back over the river. He's fine. They will try and turn their attention towards Thompson, but with no tail by his side, they cannot dive up to the high ground. Seb, holding them back. Five Liquid heroes in the mid lane. Try to brawl again at the same time as last game. It's 13 minutes in, and there's nine heroes or eight heroes positioned around this area. They want to go for No Tail, but he's got ulti. Miracle's going to continue to chase this. 
under the titular and they will get it. Seb is trying to turn, the missile is out on Akura, does Seb have the burst? Not quite, magnetizes out and Seb has to retreat, Shackle does latch, Liquid, they've got the lockdown, they've got the roll forward, the kickback, they'll Cut. crush him! Liquid, they're diving again! One top They've got a bit of a flavor of how OG was playing in these last two games, and they're saying we could do it too! Thompson pops the core down, they won't. They won't go too crazy, they'll let him live. They don't want to dive up towards the tier three, they know TPs are coming in. They have to make sure they're hitting the tower, because the side lanes are being split push. Ana as well as Jerax are actually pressuring these tiny as well as that IO. And we know this the timing is all about just waiting for IO to get not only Aghanims, but get that level 15 talent. That's what Seb. OG wants. He's diving in. On Sakura with the flak as well. Hand of God will not keep Jen alive today. GH. Will not get TP'd out. Jerex actually TP's in and gets the toss off in the exact timing. OG's actually not done. Nice day. <laughs> kind of, I mean, it's interesting because it's going to provide a lot of like, mana burn, which is going to be annoying. From the okay. It gives you a lot of agility and it gives you ways to run around and chase heroes down, I guess. That is it's liquid. Just different. They've got the kill squad getting mobile again. They can transition this into a Roche. DD And look for the more volatile kills. And he's acting as this like, super frontliner. And Bristleback is yeah. a hero that if you don't have mana, you yeah. don't have damage. So if he's just gonna be burning the bristle, I I can see yeah. it. You know, I can see it. And he's super far and look how tanky he is. 2000 HP on the gyro. There's gonna be an MKB finish now for Weeha, so his damage is gonna be very high as Seb's getting slowed down. He's got Greaves available, but he's gonna burst. I and mean, they're bringing him low. He's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. And here we have it. Miracle. His man is gone. He's able to pop the stick, get him a fair bit of it back. And he's able to head back in, pushing OG back behind the racks. They're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower liquid. They push on. On Io. That spirit hero damage is there now. But Ana gonna go. join the fray finally. There we have it. Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for what GH is. He's trying to but he can't get out. There's no mana. GH, he's dead. And now OG, they have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, the rocket ride, brings Miracle down. There's the Shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarex. Jarex backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle's still out of mana because of this diffusion. Jarex, Jarex, he's in with the combo. The GA is out. We all will fall. Though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge pop, but Jarex can shut him off. In fact, Jarex, he's ready to try and look for more, potentially. There's only the ones. They go for the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another cooldown's there. The toss back into the combo. Jarex oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all dead. able to get this as well. OG, they will hold. As and they're even taunting him. They toss him to the dragon. Holy crap, Thompson, he just did an insane amount of damage, front lines the entire time, and then Ana just has free reign to get all that spirit hero damage, and it's back completely the other way, and it feels like the control is just gone. Like, what, what do you, what what do, you do so well. when your mana's gone? What do you do? Oh my god. OG starting to take over the game completely here. Showing new ways to play the game at this incredibly late moment in the tournament. And now Thompson has an Aghanims as well, so not only is his regular hits gonna be procking that... <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be burning a lot of it. And then just moving into the base now, OG. They're pushing in, Flag starts to force the quit back, they'll focus Miracle. Miracle, he'll get himself he's out and away, the missile is out, the trap on the heels to save him, but Miracle's dead, he's still doesn't have buyback. Jarex is in with the combo, they'll bring down GH. GH has buyback, he'll buy back immediately. Weeha's gonna be back up in five. Fortification is part, but OG, they're not going away. They're too healthy, GH. And that is it. So his team by potential, and he's pretty much the only team fighter on the side of Liquid right now, is just not there. And OG's ready to go back. back. And again, Jarek's in with a wrap around the combo. Down onto mind control, the cooldown's there. Liquid out to back off. Again, mind control's mana pretty much got He's able to pop the stick, get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're getting towards Seb. He also pop, sends back pretty much up to four. Jarek's in with a double combo onto We Are. We Are stunned up. We Are dead. Miracle's the new focus. The miss up followed through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. Mind control on the Thompson with his defuser blade picking them apart. Roll four for GH for Seb. Cuts him down. Roll four help. Him. Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. And Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer, folks. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving fountain and TI finals. They want Kuroki in the fountain as well. They're going to get him. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game four. 
OG, you throw your sword all against you, you throw your sword all against you, and there he is, gone! OG, are your two-time TI champion, then done it, folks! And in what a fashion, these last three games didn't even seem close, Liquid, they had something going for themselves, but then they hit the brick wall. OG is the, the, the best, best team in the world, they, they are on a completely no different question, level. No question, they are so far ahead of anybody else that plays this game for a living. Game two, three, and four were absolutely ridiculous. The showing was magical from OG. They just seem to know exactly what to do with whatever draft they're giving. It doesn't matter. They have so many different drafts, so many different play styles. They can execute all of them. Liquid seemed like they stood no chance after that first and game. And they've earned their money. $15 million, just over it, in fact. Going the way of OG for this victory. On top of the $11 million they won last year. Unbelievable performance by them, and in such a style. Busting out the carry IO in the final game. Having a timber saw that they haven't played too much at all either. These guys can play anything. They absolutely can. Innovators, magicians, bringing something new to the game. And when it counts the most in the grand finals, game one was shaky. We had a bit of fun. Game two, three, and four. They played their hearts out for every single minute of the matches. OG. The best team of all time, and with this, their second TI win. And not just the second TI win, but the second back-to-back. -back. They do it two years in a row. There is no question that we are witnessing the best team of all time. I'm, I'm at a loss of words from the way that they played this. It was just an absolute beatdown. They just, they're just way too good at Dota. And this sort of accomplishment, the first team to do it, two times back-to-back. -back. The thing that so many TI winners in the past have dreamt of. Winning one TI, of course, is fabulous, but to do two, that was always the goal for all of our previous champions. And here in 2019, the International 2019, OG are the ones to do it first. The two time TI champions, OG, ladies and gentlemen. And here we have it. The team, I believe, preparing to lift up what is rightfully theirs for the second time in a row. There he is, Seb himself, so leading the crew up to the podium. You cannot help but be awestruck by what this team has shown us in this entire run in these two years and now in the grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's OG! Okay,呃,Notel,可以说,那我相信在这一刻,他们作为卫冕冠军,并且再次夺得天下冠军一定有很多话想说,那我们现在问一下,呃,队长Notel,现在有什么话想对他们的粉丝和对Dota2的粉
No tell. No tell. <laughs> Sorry, but no tell. Yeah. So we're gonna ask you two questions. So the first one, please. First of all, you're the first player. You guys are the first players to ever win two-time TI champions as the captain of this team. How does it feel right now? It's, it's very hard to believe, man. It's, it's extremely hard to believe, but it's too, it's too good to be true, and it feels feels just the same. It feels so good, man. Uh,就刚刚我还是翻译一下吧。Notel刚刚说就是真的难以置信，然后这一次、第二次跟第一次还是一样的感觉，真的是太棒了。嗯，刚刚有什么想对粉丝和家人、队友们说的？And then, uh, second, what do you have to say to your fans, friends, family at home? Thank you, everyone, for making this possible. This is this is a dream, and I'm an animal, apparently. <laughs> 我们最后把掌声和欢呼声送给欧记 恭喜他们再次获得了国际奥勤赛的冠军恭喜你们